Hello, gamers. Well, I finally did it. I finally robbed a bank in Wild RP as my character Scrump Toggins, or should I say his alter ego, the Velveteen Bandit, or the Velveteen Robber, or simply Mr. Velveteen, or even just V. Some things went according to plan, some things didn't. It was exhilarating through and through. It was everything I could have dreamed, really. <clears throat> and then in the end, of course, Scrump and Miss Rowe, well, things progressed. As always, I encourage you to catch it live on Twitch, but if not, here's the YouTube video short film, really, for you. <laughs> A like and subscribe is the protocol of the day. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, Spawn. Spawn. Hello, Spawn. Spawn. John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. Spawn. Oh, if it isn't Spawn. Hello, Spawn. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so, Miss Alder. Oh. Uh, Scrub here was talking about perhaps... Uh, acquiring a new persona if when he dips his toe in the uh, underbelly of, uh, oh. of the Saints Crossing. Oh. oh, oh, you mean like the criminal stuff? Yeah, yeah. And Scrump here is coming up with another. He can only do one other voice. Oh, though, so we need a name for it. Right. Because the only name well, he has so far. It. What was the name? Yeah. Ronnie Skids Marks. Ronnie Skid Marks. Yeah. Now, dude, say, do that catchphrase you had. Hi, it's me. Oh. Now look, Miss Alder, it's the only voice I can do, okay? I ain't no real actor. All right, well, let's hear well, it. Don't laugh at him. Okay? okay, I'll try really hard not to. But well, you're laughing already. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you told me Get not to. Come on. Oh, I tell you not to do something and you do it? I'm supposed yeah, that's to be exactly fucking right. a big bad bank robber. Now, now listen. All right, okay, hey. I'm, 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 I'm prepared. <clears throat> Well, hey there, y'all. It's me, Rowdy Skidmarks. <laughs> Alder. No, I love Come it. Come on now. I love, you love it. it. I would love you, it. Would you, would you like that, Rowdy Skidmarks? To Put your hands you? up, y'all. I got a gun. I ain't afraid to use it. <laughs> yeah, I would get. I would get robbed by that. Yeah, absolutely. A thousand percent, I would. Oh. But, okay, notorious outlaw, famous, famous outlaw in history, Rowdy Skidmarks. Hey, y'all. I'm robbing you. Maybe I'll stick to my regular voice. Put your hands up. No, I liked it. I thought well, it was if great. If you do go as Scrump, you know, you're never going to have, you never, you can never be yourself. You always be on the run. But you can have a better catchphrase. Mm -hmm. A what? What? Like a catchphrase? A scrump up the jam. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm coming when I'm saying Scrump yeah. up the jam. Scrump it yeah. up. I'm very sorry. I started this whole conversation just to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. We've thought about this because really, you should have a, another. And like I said, that Julius is the Jade King. It's such a good name. Yeah, yeah I guess. Name. Maybe I need. Maybe if the voice worked, it just needed a better name. What about the Velvet Duke? Oh wow, he dressed all in velvet. Yo, oh, you can be. You get a fan. You're a fancy robber. Just yep. gentleman yep. robber. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. How about, yeah, the fashionista from the Easter. I don't know, but. I like that because you're saying gentleman robber instead of caller. Well, you know, there's that story about the rabbit. Instead of velvet, it could be the velveteen robber. The velveteen bandit. Velveteen bandit. Um, I need to have, what would be a fancy boy? Yeah, this is oh. <laughs> Wow. No, it's oh, oh, oh. How's it going in there? Oh. Uh, uh I reckon I'm this the man in here who's dressing me is getting all carried away. What do you mean? I reckon it, it's not going to work for me, sir. This ain't going to work for me. Well, why? What's it got? What's it got you in? Well, I said it's going to be my alter ego and it's going to be the Velveteen Robber. And, oh, God. 
Sir, you got me dressing like a clown. It can't be that bad. Oh, it's bad. I ain't gonna do it. There's no way Julie's and everybody gonna take me seriously. They ain't never gonna have me in if their I gang. If I wear that fucking outfit that I showed you and people would take me seriously, you'll be fine. Ah, uh, you don't know what this gentleman has me in. This, sir, this is just a little ostentatious is all. I, 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 I ain't like this. I, I'm more salt of the earth. All right, why don't you describe to me relatively what this guy's got you in? Well, you got me in a long coat. And okay, long coat. Is it like a tail coat or is it like a like a trench coat? Oh, it's a tail coat. Oh, it's a tail coat. Okay, all right. And uh. Well, he's almost done, so, sir. Okay, now you're going to have to turn around. Oh, okay. You stay turnt now. I, I am. I'm not looking. Health bell. Can't be that bad. All right, let me stand into the light. Okay, turn around now. can't rob a bank like this, Miss Rowe. I can't. I, I can't be the velveteen robber. It, it just ain't gonna face work. Face me, face me. It ain't gonna work. Hold on. Give me all your fucking money right fucking now. I don't want to hear it. Anybody, anybody looks at me so fucking, so much the sideways, I swear to God, your brains is going to be all over the goddamn walls. I can't do this. I <laughs> fucking, I love this. I fucking love this so much. I fucking, I actually can't deal with it. No, I'm dead fucking serious. I ain't gonna like, be. I've seen, I've seen. Let me say this: I've seen some pretty fucking interesting outfits for like you know robberies and stuff like that. But genuinely, like I'm not even fucking kidding. <laughs> this is the best one I've seen. Oh god! Great moments are born from great opportunity. Great opportunity, boys. Great opportunity. Great opportunity. And that's what you have here. That's what tonight. you have. That's what you got. That's what you've earned here tonight. That's what you earned, y'all. One game. One game, guys. If we played them ten times, they might win nine. Nine, nine out of ten. All right, so hey, I got a little bit of a thing for us. We're going to ride in on the path that we're going to take out, okay? But if things are getting hairy... This river down below us, there's a lot of rocks that are about one and a half the height of human beings, right? So if we need to, if things are getting real hairy, dismount on your horses, get behind a rock, and that's where we can gunfight from. You know, if they're on our ass, we can fish hook up here and really lose them in these woods. That's true, that's true, and circle back around. If you got other plans for yourself to get away, if it gets hairy like that, do what you gotta do. But uh, if I'm getting shot at, and it's getting hairy, and I don't think I'm gonna make it... Through the ride, I'm going to start shooting. As part of the negotiations, I would make it as clear as we can to them that, you know, we don't mean them no harm. We're going to be very cordial about anything like that to uh, discourage them from getting too trigger happy once they start chasing. Is the back door locked to the Valentine? Yes, yes. I mean, I meant like, can you lockpick it in the back? Oh, yes, you, you can lockpick it, absolutely. Okay, we should probably have Scromp doing that if he's not doing safes, you know? He can, yeah. he can work yeah, on that as well. Yeah. Hey, V, how you feel? I feel ship shape and ready to go. Yeah, all right. You hear about that uh, part of the job where you got to get the back door too? Back door, front door, doesn't really matter to me. I'm going inside and going deep. Okay, but, but just to be sure, you realize you have to pick both doors, right, V? Oh, yeah. 
I'm okay. gonna pick anything that comes my way. These little fingers are gonna get through any old hole. You have problems. You know that. I told you it's the only voice I got. <laughs> My heart is racing. My heart is racing, dudes. Holy shit. Howdy, fella. What are we doing? Get off that. Brian, you got there. They have a marshal law right now. You lying to me right now? So what do y'all think? You think that we counter this job? Make it our own? A nine looking to rob somebody else. Oh, you don't want to nut up? <laughs> well, hey, fella, you caught yourself lucky today, okay? Come on, y'all. Well, ride. you just make sure that you have yourself a wonderful day. I'll try. Yeah. I don't understand what happened. I don't understand what happened. I feel like I'm in the like in the movie Airplane, and there's just sweat going down. I'm feeling rootin', tootin'. Velveteen, as soon as you are hitched up, let's get to work. You bitch! We got any other things going on? Where's V? I'm coming! Alright, y'all watch him. I'm getting my horse over here. I love that mask. Let's see, this one right here. Are you sitting? Yeah, don't go trying nothing. I'll remember that bow. Okay. Shell's office, I think. Okay, okay, good. We got ourselves a little audience then. Mm-hmm. Who is it? Pardon me. Oh. Hey. Who are it's you? Fucking Get Oglethorpe. What? Three. I'm counting down. Get out of here. All right. Two. Yeah. Go. Unfortunately, it's okay. a long time to be in the bank. Right, one, get a move on, fella, go. It's open, it's open. Maybe you should get a real job instead of robbing people's money. You got it, you got it. It's open. Oh, God. What is it that you do for a living there, Mr. Christopher? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of new to the crossing, so nothing, nothing. Just trying to be a good slaver. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. This is really going to help me in my progression to being a gunslinger. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I mean, it is definitely a very interesting profession. You doing good back there? I'm well, I mean, right. get down. Mm, yeah, maybe so. Hold your ear. Big boom coming. Damn now. Damn. She is very strong. Get out, get get out of here, carriage. Oh, well, that's fabulous. Now, I do happen to have a crossword Saints puzzle Cross that is just absolutely... Oh, hello Deputy there. Deputy McAllister, we had an explosion. Anybody inside? Oh, yes. Well, hello. 
How do they, who do I... What's your name with, uh, McAllister? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's Hello. your name? <laughs> well, hi, my name's Helen. My nephew! That was pretty fast, huh? I mean, that was pretty good. I did well. Ro is crushing it. I do. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm not the greatest at a crossword puzzles. But uh, I do need to know how many how many uh, people besides uh, Mr. Norman and in there are inside. Oh, well, I got quite a few of us in here. I mean, we got, uh, we got Mr. B, we got V, we got Modest, we got uh, Mr. Poncho. Now, listen, uh, where is it that you would like to go after this? You, you got somewhere you need to be? Everybody, calm down. I know what I mean, Mr. McAllister. I can definitely tell. I do know yeah. what you mean. Well, that's right. Well, you see, I, as a result, I can never really necessarily be tied down to no particular place. Ever since I was young, I've just been traveling, going to and from here and there, up and down, and wherever else in between. Okay. And quite frankly, I mean, I've run into a couple of places yeah, where I've been like, you know what? This place just ain't for me. You know what I mean? But I think that, quite honestly, I mean, this do do? place in particular, do do with it? it's just really tickled me pink, I'll tell you some. By the way, How are we doing, Velveteen? We're looking oh, real nice. Good, good. good. There's staffing right now. Now you better stop it I'm right gonna now. get all red in the face with these staffing. Right now we have uh, three deputies here, but the Kurt certainly could be uh, more on the way as well. We're good to go. With three, let's, okay. let's go. Okay. Whoa! What the hell? Who are that? Whoa, don't come in. Oh my in. god, don't come who was that? We're ready to go. Y'all are there? ready to go? No, yeah, that one not. So, uh, I'm gonna let y'all know. Let's so just give us a second. We just want to make sure uh, everything's all right out here. Right, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. You make it go now, all right? Hurry up. I'm really Is gonna need to have to head out of here. You see? Bees rubbing her ears. Bees rubbing her ears. All right, well, uh, just give me about five seconds. When, uh, all right, give her a 20, all right? Uh, I want Miss Norman to come. Right to me, I'm gonna be in the the white, the blue shirt with the black vest to the right as y'all exit. Okay, thank you. Good, be. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, All right, let's, let's do this. Let's you ready? Where you at? All right. Yep, we're ready. There you go. And you make sure you take your time. I will. I will. <laughs> that horse is sucking. <laughs> And Mr. McAllister, I do have to say, the conversation was quite wonderful. Man, things will be so nice. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> Got my horn, but okay. <laughs> Into the woods. Midas, we're going to the right woods, okay? It's too bright out. Okay, okay. Oh, shit! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Course. Course. Jesus Christ. Watch out. Okay? Everyone's fine. Just do Sorry. your thing. Everyone's here. I'm here. There's someone off to your right. Oh, God. 
Oh lord, please no. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. I'm fine. All right. All right. We got tree cover here. What the hell happened back there? It's fine. I just. Someone took a tumble. It's it's all right. Who took, Who took my horse? Is that you? This is my horse. Scamp had a little issue, but it's fine. He's all right. I'm all right. You all right? Are we all good? Yeah. Everyone's fine. Cattail. 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 Cattail's gonna be a long way. Cattail's very far away. Yeah. Let's, let's go just go to Limpany, Limpany like we planned. Limpany. Yeah, right. I think we can hide out at Limpany. Okay. It's a good idea. Alright, let's get there. You alright? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Just I knew something like that. I, 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 I don't know why I'm talking like that. Shit. I, I knew something like that was gonna happen. I, I'm fine. Don't Thanks you worry. You're right. Look, you're alright. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. Man. Back ain't gonna do nothing for us. Yeah, down here somewhere. Rendezvous, no law. Where are the others? Are they hiding their horses as well? Look at this. Oh, everyone's here. Yeah, everybody's in here. I'm gonna take off my coat. Switch yep, your little yep. thing out. Just give us some time to rest. Law's gonna be swarming because of the Valentine and Rose job. Be looking everywhere, so yeah, we gotta, we gotta, lay we gotta let the heat die down a bit. Mm -hmm. At least till nightfall. So, Julius, you hit two safes, right? Yes. All right. Well, what's great about that is there's five safes. So each of us, uh, I'll hand out some money. Uh, Julius, hand Isabella two fifty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just split the money now since it's already liquid. Oh, you get a scrum. All right. There's the hot dog. That's one safe for you. Yeah. One safe for you. Go on, Julia, say the thing. One safe for you, Isabella. <laughs> one safe for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. One safe and for you. One safe for Julia's goddamn bread, y'all. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> we got a... Now that the money's separated, let's take a tally of the gems everybody has. And then there's, what, two, two gold bars for safe? Yes. <laughs> All right, so in total, we've got what looks like 11 assorted gems, uh, 50 slips of paper, bonds from the United States government, and 10 gold bars. Now, I'm going to do some quick tabulating here. The bonds are around $1,250. <laughs> gold bars, I'm assuming, are 500 if they're still going for 50 the emeralds, that's 300. The diamonds, that's 150. The sapphires, that should be, what, five, 150. And the rubies, that should be 90. All right, boys, you ready for the grand total? Mm hmm. Um, please. I mean, let me do better math here. I've got my abacus. We're looking pretty good, though. It's not the biggest uh, roads safe I've ever had, but, you know, hey, it's something. It's something for sure. It's looking like a total without the cash of twenty four hundred forty dollars. Between the two I of like us, that. all of us rather. Between the rest of us, though, all of us together split that up. It's four hundred and ninety dollars each, pretty much. So four ninety plus the two fifty, our individual hauls come out to seven hundred and forty dollars. All right. Plus, it's like one hundred fifty. I know, you know the smoking sounds are so Gives intense. Give you on top for trying to get it. <laughs> yeah, I smoke. Well, that is. You sure you want a cigarette? Yeah, give me a, give me a cigarette. No, I mean, it's give me a cigarette. Fair, you know, know, they call them in England. Don't. I would have, uh, you know, one of the same if you used mine. I'm so. going to bum a... Don't. Yeah, so yeah. Is. Okay, I'll just have All one. Right, beautiful. You sure you smoke? Yeah, I smoke. Light me. Give me a light. All right. I'll, uh, I'll contact everybody that? once we get it all sold. Yeah, no, that was... That was <sighs> really poor hearse. I love it. And who was the other deputy's name? I didn't catch the other one's name. <sighs> I wasn't exactly asking you two about, like, self-defense. I was more asking with, uh, conviction how many people you've shot. Oh. Well. In a past life, there's one or two. But only, only in a line of duty, if that makes sense. But I want no lawman. 
you've said this about your old life quite a few times now with your family well i wasn't born in saints crossing what's this duty you're talking about huh you a soldier i had some time in the army yeah i would venture to say that that uh anyone i'm talking about either Well, if you want to know, if you's asking, if you's asking if I ever murder anybody. I said if you ever shot somebody down because they, need, they needed it, they deserved it. Yeah, you just, made that call. That's my question. That's the whole thing, deserving. Yeah. Me and my company will sit on people. We were told to, we were told they deserve it. Now, in hindsight, when I see them eyes flashing, when I smell gun smoke in my dreams, do I think they deserve it? At this point, with all the thinking I have done, riding betwixt here and there, I reckon they do not. But, well, I was told to and I did it. So I could sit here and tell myself that I'd done the right thing. But you ask my heart, ask my heart if it feel good about it, if it feel like it was right. And the answer, sir, is surely is shit. No. I know what you did for me back there. I oh, know you've done the same for me. Yeah. Damn straight. Well, hey, Miss oh, Rose. I'm gonna leave you behind. Look at my little smile on my face. You know what this means, don't? Oh shit! You know what this means, don't it? We's flush with cash, and that means that I get to take you out on a day and see you oh. in a fancy dress. Uh. <laughs> that was the deal. That was the deal. It was, yes, no. It was. Yes, no, yes, yes. Yes, it was. It was. We're going to have a fancy meal, a five-courser. We're going to drink from the cups with our pinky out. It's going to be nice. There, Mr. Tolkien's, I don't know. I'm not a fancy, I'm not a fancy lady. Mr. Tolkien's, well, I think you just got fancy just there. Miss oh. Roxanne, you know what, Miss Roxanne? What? I don't even know your last name. Robbins. Robbins. I always do like a nice bird call. And Robins, well, they sweet. They have a nice melody to them. That's it. You know what a chickadee sound like? No. It sound just like, just like the name. What do they call that? Animatopeers or whatever. It go chickadee dee dee. That's exactly what it do. <laughs> I'm gonna be out here for a little bit. Well, that was pretty exciting. Sure was. <laughs> well, congratulations. You made it out and you get a whole bunch of cash. That's true. So do you. True, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest. Uh, I think this line of work gonna suit me fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to have to like ride it. Scamp a little better and not break his own damn neck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to apologize to him. I'm going to give him a sugar cube. He'd love that. Yeah. There's some. It's really neat. Fuck! <laughs> oh, God damn. That sign came out of nowhere. <laughs> ah, shit. That... <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Oh, my mouth. My fucking teeth. My fucking mouth is split open.
<laughs> I'm bleeding as hell. Oh, God, damn. Uh, uh. God damn you, Patrick. No, no, don't, don't, don't look, don't look, don't look. It's fine. No, 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 let me say, let me say, let me say. It's fine, it's fine. Oh. It's fine. Gonna... All right, we'll get the... Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, shit. <laughs> what in the absolute hell is happening? Scrub targets. He's so tough. If you're looking to make some money, I ain't scared to shoot a man. That kind of rough and tumble types, just my bag. <laughs>